Shalom, PowerPoint family. I want to talk to you about the benefits of the one new man. One of the biggest challenges I think any believer faces, and all people really, is identity. If you know who you are, it creates your purpose. When you have your purpose, then you have opportunities to have destiny. Because destiny comes because you know who you are and you're operating in your God-given purpose, your workmanship. That brings you into destiny. When you're operating in destiny, then God can release your inheritance. Because there's provision for the call of God in your life. And once you start walking in that inheritance, then you start having an overflow and you can leave a legacy of provision and good, solid structure and instruction to your family to maintain that legacy by helping them find their identity and helping to help them with their purpose and to create a destiny, an atmosphere in your family of peace and not chaos so that the inheritance of God, the inheritance of God rests on homes that have peace and then that will be your legacy. So Abraham's inheritance is in Ephesians chapter three, verse six. The Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body, partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel. So what Paul was speaking of in the book of Ephesians to the church at Ephesus, that as you partner with your Jewish brothers and sisters, then there's takeaways. And one of the takeaways is, is that you are co-heirs. You are the seed of Abraham. You are the household of God of Abraham by faith. So you are no longer outside or strangers, but you have been grafted in and we are one new man. So the benefit of being one new man is you have the blessing of your heir and your inheritance from God. God bless you. May you prosper and be in good health.